Buongiorno. Join us now as the great chefs cook Italian. Featuring from Nantucket Island, Seth Rayner. From New York City, Lydia Bastianich. From Cambridge, Massachusetts, Jody Adams. From New Orleans, Louisiana, Bobby Roth. From Killington, Vermont, Ted Fondoulis. From Washington, D.C., Francesco Ricci. From Boston, Killian Wigand. And from Providence, Rhode Island, Joanne Killeen. Most chefs tend to be high energy people, and Lydia Bastianich may lead the league. With her husband, she operates the great Italian restaurant for Lydia, runs two other operations, appears on radio and TV shows, and teaches cooking classes. Fortunately, she took time out to present a master class on risotto. The dish is started by reconstituting dried puccini mushrooms and chicken stock in a little butter. They will steep for about 20 minutes. A combination of fresh wild mushrooms will be sautéed and added to the risotto toward the end of cooking. Chopped onion and shallot are wilted in olive oil to begin the risotto. Let's, let's, let's just get the... the fresh mushrooms go into a sauté pan with some butter. While the mushrooms cook, a chopped onion is wilted. The onions. Just wilt the onions a little bit and then, well, um, with, with the rice, we're going to put the onions, the shallots a little bit right after, and then the rice right into that. And we're going to toast it. What that's going to do is going to toast sort of the outer layer of the rice and also it's going to coat it with, with oil. And, and therefore, so the rice doesn't just open up. I'm sure you all had an experience where the rice just opens up. That's when it's a lot of liquid and it doesn't have that sort of capsule. Uh, but in, in a risotto, it's important to make that capsule and then slowly, slowly let those starches seep out. The chopped shallot goes in just before the rice. All right, the rice, we don't wash the rice, it's clean. Again, because you just don't want to initiate that seepage of the starches. So you, you put dry rice in the, in the, uh, directly into the wilted onions and shallots. And we'll toast the rice down. Uh, usually the rice doubles in size, so if you put a cup in, you will get two cups, and it usually takes about three times of the liquid, so it usually takes about three cups. It's a ratio of one cup of rice where it doubles, and it, it, it takes about three cups of liquid to... to okay, we are just toasting the rice. Now, the, uh, 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 rice is about 98% uh, uh, starch. Um, uh, so um, as soon as we toast it, now we'll add some white wine, so the, the sort of the, a little bit of acidity goes into the rice and balances the the starches. And that's important that it's done before any other liquids because the rice will absorb it right in and will get the flavor throughout the rice. The white wine is added. Okay, I'll add the chopped dry porcini mushrooms. I'll add the, the juice that I, where I reconstituted the dry mushrooms, which is stock, hot stock, and I let it steep for about 20 minutes or bring it to a boil if you're in a hurry. But it's important that, you, you know, there's a bit of grit. You leave that at the... Uh, what's also very important is that the stock that you keep on adding is at a temper at the same temperature, so the stock should be boiling and hot, because again you have the starches, and if you are to order uh, to add cold stock or whatever, you would uh, coagulate those starches. You don't want you want that creaminess to continue. I'll add the rest of the mushrooms. Okay. We'll use all of the flavor here. 
Risotto cooks anywhere from, from 12 to 16 minutes, depending on the heat, depending on the pot, depending on... More chicken stock is gradually added until the ratio of three part stock to one part rice is achieved. A risotto in a milk is used in Italy a lot as, a, as an appetizer, as a beginner, as a starter uh, <coughs> in the minestra course. And uh, in that case, usually it's given maybe three quarters of a cup per portion. But the risotto also could be a main course. When the risotto is ready, off heat, butter and grated parmesan are added to what already is a flavor packed dish. Okay, once the butter is all mantecato sort of mixed in, we'll add the cheese, parmigiano, parmigiano reggiano in this case. Also the cheese is, the cheese is a, a pre-cooked, pre-digested food, so you really don't, in any case, whatever you use cheese, you never really cook cheese, unless you want to give it a crust or something. It's nice and creamy. 